all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel guys today we have a toronto raptors recap video if you enjoy this video and you like raptors content i post it just about every single day be sure to hit that like button hit that sub button the raptors got a much needed win tonight against the sacramento kings 108 to 89 I don't think it's much surprise that the Raptors are phenomenal on the road this year. I believe they're yep, yeah, they're six and three on the road this year. It's it's no surprise as they played the entire last season on the road, which is a whole nother thing in itself. But tonight, Pascal Siakam, they got the, the Raptors got their first win with Pascal Siakam in their starting lineup, and boy oh boy. He was efficient, he was good on defense, he was making the shots. I, I mean, Pascal was doing just about every single thing tonight. And it, it's very good because they, they definitely needed his production tonight. So the Raptors, they get back in the winning circle tonight to get to 8-9 and nine on the season. Now, it's really interesting, and I'll start it off with the Pascal talk because... It's it's really weird, you know, living here in Chicago, not being a, a Raptors fan... It's really weird hearing the media talk about Pascal because the Raptors were, I believe, 0-5 heading into tonight with Pascal being in their starting lineup, and or it was at least 0-4. There's a lot of people, not Raptors fans, I, very little Raptors fans are actually inclined for trading Pascal unless they're getting a player like Carl Anthony Towns or just a proven superstar in return. Like, they, like Raptors fans don't even want Ben Simmons. I mean, he, he's a three-time All-Star. He's a very good basketball player. But that just goes to show you, like, Pascal, his dominance on this team, his impact on this team, it's there. It's there. If you're not watching every single night, you're looking at box scores. Like, last night against the Utah Jazz, like, I believe Pascal went four for four, four points, four rebounds. Last night, he was guarding Rudy Gobert. Tonight, they made a switch. He wasn't guarding the primary center. It's almost like Pascal at the five doesn't work, and it's almost like everybody knew that except Nick Nurse. The Raptors have a very interesting situation on their hands because Ken Birch is a very capable fairly consistent center and precious achua is a very inconsistent project in the works like precious literally averaged less than 10 points per game last season i mean i, I don't even remember his stats but there's no way he averaged more than five points like the, like precious literally played barely last year they didn't even let him take a three-pointer this year He's playing a lot more. He's shooting threes. He's shooting mid-range shots. You love to see the progression. He missed again tonight. He's He's been on the injury list. But it, it's just a really interesting situation because sometimes Nick Nurse will run Pascal at the five. Sometimes he'll run Ken Birch at the five. Sometimes he'll run Precious Chu at the five. But tonight, altogether, um, it's just a good win because it, it was almost a 20-point win. The Raptors pretty much controlled the entirety of the game. Their defense definitely stepped up. And that was something heading into tonight where it was like myself, along with a lot of other Raptors fans that I've been seeing on Twitter, YouTube, etc., are it's like the Raptors, they have all these good defenders. Like just about every player on the Raptors roster who's getting consistent minutes is a solid defender. So why are they playing so much help defense? Like they're literally just crashing the paint. They're, they're double teaming anybody who gets down to the paint and it's leaving all of these outside jumpers. It's leaving all these open three pointers. It's leaving all these open corner three pointers, especially. And tonight I feel like the Toronto Raptors, like they're finally putting it all together. And it, it's interesting because they were doing very good without Siakam and now you have Siakam and it took them a little bit of time to figure things out but let's look into some actual statistics I mean like the Raptors they held Sacramento to not only 89 points but they held them to 38 percent from the field goal uh, themselves they shot 46 percent the three-pointer it was falling at a 39 percent clip the turnovers were a little bit shaky but for the most part good they significantly out rebounded the kings by like 14 rebounds tonight and just player by player you got just a solid team effort like obviously you have pascal going 20, 32 and 8 on 10 
10 of 12 from the field, three of three from downtown, nine of 10 from the free throw line. So it seems finally as if Pascal, because he's had some good games, he's had some good offensive games, he's had some good defensive games. It seems like the Raptors players, they're finally starting to adapt to playing with him because keep in mind, they played like almost 15 games without Siakam in the starting lineup. And this is a, it's not a completely new roster, but there are a lot of new additions, particularly Scotty Barnes in that starting lineup. There's no more Kyle Lowry. So it's not that surprising that it took this Raptors team a couple of games, not only offensively, but defensively, to kind of get into the flow of things with Siakam back in the rotation, back in the starting lineup at full health. So that's an absolutely huge addition for the Raptors. It's very hard for me to see them falling outside of the playoff race. You got good production from Gary Trent Jr., who I believe is number two or three in steals on the season. 23 points, four rebounds, eight of 17 from a field. 5 of 11 from downtown. You got some decent production from Freddie, although he did have seven turnovers. It definitely wasn't his most efficient night. Definitely wasn't his prettiest night. But Ken Birch keeping it going. He had four steals and two blocks, along with 10 points and nine rebounds. You love to see it from Ken Birch. Scotty Barnes, it definitely was not his night, but hopefully he'll get it flowing in the next game. OG and OB, him being out definitely hurts. But it should only help Scotty Barnes get at least a couple more touches every single night. So that is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, post Raptors content just about every single day. Let me know what you thought about tonight's victory. Much needed road victory on this West Coast swing. So hit that like button and I'll see you guys tomorrow.